What's up, everybody? Welcome to Kind of Funny Games Daily for Wednesday, January 22nd, 2020. I'm one of your hosts, Greg Miller, alongside the rogue one, at Gary Witta. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm good. So, uh, is this our first time hosting in 2020? I think it might be. Is it? Well, yeah, because last be. week... Yeah, bless. Yeah, bless. And first before week that, it was all of us. On. Last week, yeah. it was blessing, and now this is it. We're back. And, and that's the problem, is I feel like I took my eyes off of you for one year. One year. You know one what I mean? Year? Three weeks into the new year. Uh, please throw this up, the link I just put at the top of the document. Oh, no. What, what happened doing? to your ankle, young man? Oh, yeah. I fucked what up What are ankle. you doing? It's not even you want to see it? Photo. Throw this. What? What? Put it's that all, up, Kev. Uh, I got it all strapped up. Oh, my you Lord. See you got my Superman socks? But this oh, that's nice. Yeah. I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Superman socks. Yeah, very nice. Very yeah, nice. I think you'd appreciate those. But look at this hideous ankle. What did you do? Well, no. That, that's a, look, that's a that's a previous injury. Okay. Oh, when I read it over the weekend or whatever it was, I thought it. Second pick is from a real bad spell I took down. Down the Lucasfilm mm. stairs while giving like, a tour. I don't like this that was it. that was the worst ankle injury ever. And you notice that's the other ankle. That's not even the same ankle. Um, my right ankle, um, I blew out. I mean, there's nothing there to see. It's just a foot in a sock. But you got um, some calves on you. Man. I blew it out. I blew it out playing uh, badminton. I rolled. You ever rolled your ankle? <laughs> what? What's so funny about that? <laughs> you played badminton. I love it. Yeah. Do you think badminton is like a like a, a soft? Oh game no no no! Literally, you could have said me playing any sport there, and I would be laughing the same oh, way. Okay. You I like you know, I, listen. I, I like to, I like to play badminton. I played when I was a kid. It's a good. It's a is fun this in game. your backyard? Or is no, this like, like on a proper court. Really? Like, yeah. well, no, I mean when you hurt your ankle. No, it was I was playing on a court. Wow. Yeah, on a hard court. Well, who, I played. I played proper playing? badminton. Are you in like a league? No, but I play every week. Against with, who? With, with friends. What friends? I'm like, they're, they're, not, they're not people. I have other are they, friends. Are they I have other interests, people? Greg. I have a life outside of you. <laughs> are they British? I don't have to tell you everything that I do. Do you do the no. fake accent when you talk to them too, or is that just a kind of funny fake accent? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? You're supposed, you're supposed to be nice to me right now. I'm injured. <laughs> oh, sorry, why you convalesce? I'm hobbling, That's why I'm, you're drinking the Gatorade, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping hobbling, your electrolytes I'm, up. I'm hobbling around. I lost 12 pounds on my diet so far. Congratulations. So I'm feeling good about that. Yeah, yeah. This I'm is hoping a, you're doing the keto thing. Keto. You, keto? I'm doing the keto. If, if you, what I would hope for is like by like, like the summer. Yeah. Do a quick supercut of all my appearances on Kind of Funny, so you and you'll down. see me shrink down. That's yeah. the plan. What's the goal? Um, I want to get back. I want to get back. I want to get under two hundred. Yeah. I'll be happy to be. I, I'll be happy to be under two hundred pounds. That's awesome. Where are you yeah. now? If I'm you're like, comfortable. So saying. I started. Well, I, like <laughs> I was way too heavy. I was like two fifty. Yeah. Um, and now I'm. A, I was two fifty two when I weighed myself on New Year's Eve. I'm two forty okay. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I want to get down to like when I was really happy with my weight, I was like one eighty five, one ninety. And you put up photos when you were really happy, right? That was Rogue One, or was that, it that, that, that was before? That was like two thousand. That was between those. It was okay, like two thousand thirteen. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was right before. My daughter was born, and it was right before I started on Star Wars. That's and both of those contributed to me doing a lot of stress eating. Sure. <laughs> and, I put, and, I, and, I, and I lost. But the, the good thing is I know that I can lose the weight because they did it this way before. So I yeah. just need to do the same shit again and yeah. stick to it. Yeah. But I'm feeling I'm disciplined. I'm on it. Um, I'm weighing myself every. Here's what I'm gonna, I decided. I'm going to weigh myself. I weighed myself this morning. Every morning on Kind of Funny. Uh, I'll give you a weight update and okay. see now, now. Now that I've said I'm now see now now I've told you accountable. That, yeah. Now I have to well, I have to hold myself accountable. Sure, sure. So, I'm proud of you. Yeah, we'll do a weigh in. Every, okay. Well, I'll, I'll do the weigh in, but then I'll report the news to you every Wednesday. <laughs> Why anyone would give a fuck? <laughs> the, I don't know. <laughs> the breaking gear wouldn't but, news. <gasps> but no, you look. You asked me. I fucked my ankle, so I, I got it strapped up. I had it iced last night. Yeah. I got to get it. I got about 24 hours l left to kind of get it in good shape because here's the other news. I'm going up to. Um, uh, the whole family were going up to Tahoe tomorrow for oh, the weekend. Oh, right. Are you hanging out with Snowbike Mike? Snowbike Mike is hooking us up. Yes, he is. Snowbike Mike has has, has got it all. He's got he get, he he's got the Heavenly Mountain hookup for oh, us. Oh yeah, yeah, totally, totally. So uh, we're staying at this really nice hotel that has a s'mores bar, which is pretty amazing. Yeah, make your own s'mores bar. Sure. Yeah, totally. Uh, and roast your own s'mores. Yeah, we're gonna do sledding. We're gonna do tubing. Wow. We're gonna you know just fuck around and see. But most, mostly my kid just she's never seen snow because it never snows here in the city. Fair. Um, she wants to build a snow. Do you want to build a snow? She wants to. She yes, yes, she does want to build a snow. <laughs> Very badly. Uh, and you know it'll be fun. You know, Tahoe's great. I don't know if you ever go up there, but it's beautiful. Up I there. went up there once. Yeah, it's, it's lovely. Great. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna go up there for the for the weekend, and I won't be on next week's show because I'll be in LA. Sorry oh, about okay. that. No problem. Which uh, Marvel movie are you working on? DC movie. <laughs> Which one's it gonna be? Is it Star Wars again? Are you doing more? Is this final Clone Wars? Are you doing something with that? You'll break. I'm talking to lots of people. One of these days. Uh, are you break. gonna call in for your weight update? Great point. Or? Great. Oh question. yeah, I'll call in. Or Are you gonna or bring or the or scale to LA? I'll, I'll, I'll find. Yeah, I'll find a scale. The, okay. the, 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 the gym. The hotel gym. Yeah, the gym. Gym will have one. Uh, I'll text it to you, and you can. You can. Sounds good. 
to all those people out there who are I'm going to text you fascinated. Wednesday morning and be like, hey, how, how much you weigh? you like, fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> That's how much I weigh. Go on. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this isn't just Gary Witten news. We have game news as well, like Ninja Theory having their own direct, Half-Life having a whole bunch of different news from an AMA, and some Xbox, X, Xbox Series X leaks. Because this is Kind of Funny Games Daily. Each and every week to end a variety of platforms, we run you through the nerdy video game news you need to know about. If you like that, be part of the show. Patreon.com slash Kind of Funny Games. You can give us your questions, comments, concerns, your squad up requests, and so much more. Plus, get the show ad-free. Plus, get the show with an exclusive post-show. However, if you don't have any bucks to toss our way, no big deal. You can head over to YouTube.com slash Kind of Funny Games. You can go to RoosterTeeth.com. You can go to podcast services around... The Globe, and get the show there with ads. No post show. It's not the full deal. What is Gary going to do in the post show this time? Who knows? Oh, shit. There's a post show, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. We'll figure something out. We will. I remember during the extra live stream, the idea was we'd karaoke at the end of every post show. Oh, you want to do karaoke? Just put, I'm just putting it out there. We don't right. have to. Just putting it out there. That could be what we do this time. You mean you, you mean just when it's like, not every post, but just like when oh, I'm Oh, no. Here? Just get, just with Wednesdays. All right. I'm not going right, we'll to give this honor to Fran. You know what I mean? Get out. Sucks. Yeah, he sucks. Does Fran, does Fran still come on, or is he? He's, he's yeah. He's he's with the way we've broken it up and having blessing in. It's usually Imran and you are the games daily hosts that right. come in and cycle. Fran cycles on Gamescast, but right. inevitably when like next week for Wednesday, I'll probably try to get Fran or something. He can like sub that. in. Or yeah, exactly. yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. He's like first on the bench there. Right. Uh, housekeeping for you. We have new merch at kindoffunny.com slash store. You can get the new Portillo shirt, or you can go get that there. P.S. I love you. X O X O. I'm just filling as long as I can. Stretch while Kevin gets the link would you, up. Uh, would you consider? Do, would you consider doing an Xbox version of that show so that uh, us Xbox out there aren't don't feel left out? Sure, I would love that. People people talk about that all the time, right? Where you know, oh, it's cool that PS I Love You's back, but does that open the door for Xbox or Nintendo? Right. And I think it does. But what really opens the door is the growth of kind of funny. It's the fact that we don't have someone on staff who is that in tune with oh. Xbox's audience, right? Right. Tim only uses his Xbox as a primary thing because of the 4K checkerboard and whatever the hell, best, right. best looking thing. You know what it is. Stop. Do I, Kevin? Yeah, you do. Do I? I don't like when the KFA of couch is in the I way know, and I can't see you while you talk to me. Um, we are sold out and everything but the Holy game. crap, wow, everybody. Really? Look at that's that. a, that's a now, hold on really quickly. Kevin, scroll down. Put it back up. Scroll down. If you want this sweatshirt and you did not buy it yet, you have to go to uh, kindoffunny.com slash store and add to wish list. Add to wish list is the way that then it pings rooster teeth. Like, oh, fuck, we need to make more of these shirts. Now, granted, the right, fact that you right, sold right. out, what, 70% of the, the merchandise. does the fact that they sold out alert them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, like, again, for kind of funny stuff to sell out, it's usually, oh, man, this has been up for four years. Somebody finally bought it at right, $3. Right, right. They don't understand that it's <laughs> but this is the a first, this is a hot item. first 28 hours. Right, so it's selling, like, uh, hotcakes. Well, when Joey Noel gets here, we'll screech at her to try to get some. Um, also, wanna... leave reviews, people. You know what I mean? So yeah, leave some funny. reviews. Let me get in yeah, I, I know you don't have it yet, but just lie. Yeah. I have this shirt. It cured my toilet toad. There you go. If you uh, if you talking. do decide ever to do an Xbox, sure. like a, I love you version of yeah. for, for Xbox, I'll, I'll I'll I would come in on that. Do you think you have the chops? Yeah, I know the Xbox. Okay, I've been an Xbox guy from since uh, my Xbox gamer tag. I got that with the OG Xbox. Yeah, like I've had that from the beginning, and I've always I've always, I'm not as I used to be a bit of an Xbox fan i sure. suppose these days i'm much more agnostic i love the playstation i'll just play whatever is there but i've always had a, a little affinity for the for the xbox i mean it's one of those things like you don't have to we can start talking you want to do more shows around here i'll contract I, I'll yeah do I'll, more I'll do more i want i want to do more who's I'll your do who more. are you gonna get a co-host who you want to have in co-host for the xbox show yeah i mean you tell me who, who would be best equipped to do that Snowbike Mike's real good at it. Maybe you should Xbox force yourself to do it so you can broaden your horizons. Snowbike Mike. I only have issues. so many Snowbike hours. Mike. Snowbike Mike loves the Xbox. Exactly. There you go. Right. But then he has you to come have, in. Yeah. Well, I mean, suck it up, everybody. You know what I mean? You want to be big or do you want to be out in Tahoe the rest of your life? You if know? you're not making moves, you're standing still. That's right. Uh, MC Fixer would be good, too, but he's in the UK. That's even further away, too. There's I would happily co-host the Xbox version of that show. A lot of people don't like that MC Fixer guy. You know what I mean? They don't? Mick Fixer, they call Mick him. Mick Fister, they call him. Yeah, yeah. okay. Uh, thank you to our Patreon producers, Blackjack and Mohammed Mohammed. Today, we're brought to you by Manscaped, Riot Games, and Raid, but I'll tell you about that later for now. Let's begin the show with what is and forever will be the Roper Report. Time for some news. Four items on the Roper Report. A baker's dozen. I woke up today, Gary. I couldn't believe my eyes. I said, what? There's been some kind of Xbox Direct. There's been some kind of giant things from Microsoft. No. Ninja Theory themselves 
put out a seven and a half minute video. They just went straight to the consumers. That, and they're like, you know what? We've seen Nintendo do this. We've seen PlayStation do this. We've seen Xbox do it. And with their uh, Major Nelson shows and stuff, we're going to do our own. I would like to see more developers do this. I, uh, Kevin, I put a link in there. So th what they did today is they dropped the Dreadnought Diaries. It's a video series they'll be doing, I guess, throughout the development of uh, the new Hellblade and then their other projects. Uh, they put it up. I hi I'm going to recap the news, obviously, for you. But I highly, highly, highly recommend you go watch this. We watched it this morning. It was interesting. And, and it moves. It's quick. Go yeah, there. quick seven minutes. Uh, thumbs it up. Leave a comment saying you love this and want more of this. If you do, and I'm just telling you that you should and will, because this is such an awesome thing. This is some watching. stylish fucking game developer as well. It, it, oh, yeah. take, you wouldn't remember this, but it takes me back to the days of the Bitmap Brothers. Oh, yeah. Remember no, I don't remember that Brothers? at all. No, I don't remember that. But look at this guy. He looks like, he looks like he's, he's in a fucking Tommy, like, yeah. like British rock band or something. Totally. Yeah, yeah. But it's a great... He looks like he should be playing like rhythm guitar in... Uh, some kind of like alt rock band out of like Bristol or something. Sure, okay. Yeah. I've heard of those places. Yeah, Bristol, Connecticut, right? Yeah. Okay. No. Uh, anyways, though, the line, the main news out of all this, and Kevin, I will want you to skim around a bit when we get going, or you can just let it play, whatever you want to do. Uh, they have multiple projects and multiple teams. Uh, they have multiple projects and then multiple teams on these projects. Uh, each one of these teams is smaller than a triple A team. Of course, that's you know Ninja Theory when they made their mark with Senua. That was their big thing that they were a small game, a small team delivering a big game right now at the end of the video they say there are 120 total so you see that broken up between three projects they're talking about here the first of which being uh senua saga hellblade 2 uh you see it here i could be wrong kind of funny.com slash you're wrong me please obviously we remember this trailer debuting uh for the announcement of this and with this uh xbox series x thing good at this the game looks. oh totally right and so we're seeing it again here i don't I was trying to figure, I didn't have time, I had computer issues today, and then I had a meeting, and a bunch of other stuff. So, I can't remember if this, I, I don't remember as much of the cutaways to the woods, but is this the same trailer is my question for you right now. Let me know there, kindoffunny.com slash wrong. However, they do give you new information regardless of what the trailer is or isn't. Um, what I find interesting uh, when they come out of this and talk about it, right? Hellblade 2 is going to be uh, how madness and suffering shapes myths, gods, and religions. So, of course, uh, Hellblade, the original with Senua, Senua Sacrifice, right, was this, you know, acclaimed for good reason, obviously, and how technically appealing it is and how beautiful it is, but also on a story level and effects level, right, Gary, of, hey, this is what mental illness feels like. Yeah, how like. it tackled that issue and did it in like a, <coughs> a what, I think, they, I think they got some kind of award from like a Same mental trailer. health charity or, um, you know, they, were, they, yeah. they, they tackled the, the you know, kind of mental health Issues totally, in totally. A way They've that gotten was lots of acclaim and it, for it. Yeah, it yeah. was on story. They, so they, they, I, they didn't feel like they were doing an exploitative. No, life. and that'll be their next thing when we talk about the Insight Project, which they have talked about before. Again, it, I confirmed in the middle of a sentence there. That is the exact same trailer if you saw it uh, before at Game Awards. However, like the, getting more information as they talk about it here, I like the idea of going off of what we already know about Hellblade and Senua, right? And then this one's going to be madness and suffering shapes myths, gods, and religion, right? That sounds awesome. Yeah. That sounds really cool. Uh, twice the size of the first team, they say, while pointing out that's still incredibly small for AAA to game development. Did you play Senua's Sacrifice? I wa uh, my wife played it. I watched her play it, and I thought it was really interesting. Totally, right? Yeah. Uh, power to the wives, because that's how I did it, too. Where I started, played for like 45 minutes, and I was like, okay, this is cool, got distracted by something else, and then I came home the next day, and Jen was in. And so I sat there and watched yeah. her play the whole thing. Yeah. And yeah. I know it's an easy platinum. I know I should go back on top of the fact that it's great. But at having not had that experience, but seeing it end, right? You know how you, you know how you watch somebody else play a game, and then it's like, well, do I want to go play the same thing just to right. catch up to where they are? Enough times passed now, I think, where I, I might want to actually jump Fair into enough. it and, and crank. And it this out and new game it. that they just revealed looks interesting too. Well, this is if you toss this up right now, this is Insight Project. This is something we did talk about in Games Daily when they announced it. This is the first time they're showing stuff from it. The idea is with this project, if you remember, is that. Obviously, they got so much acclaim and really, you know, made their mark with tackling mental health. They wanted to kind of give back and figure out how they can work on that in terms of what you're talking about, a charitable way, a scientific way. So as the video goes on and shows here, the idea with the Insight Project, right, is that it's taking game design and tech and pairing it with psychology to work on mental like health. Actual right? kind of mental health researchers and professionals right. and... Exactly. And like try to bring that together to bridge that thing to help people who struggle with this because so many do. And the idea here that he talks about in the video is this is, you know, they're going to, the idea that's going to change and evolve and all this different stuff is to make, uh, the way they call it is it's going to start to conquer your fears in the game environment and then bring those problem solving techniques to real life. Right. Which is awesome. I think it's, I think it's a really interesting <coughs> kind of the, the relationship and it goes both ways in that, you know, by properly 
by working with, with researchers and scientists and doctors and professionals, they can make sure that when they tackle these issues, it's done in a responsible way. Totally. And also what they were talking about in this video is trying to use the, the unique interactive tools that games offer to build experiences, maybe not even games, but experiences that can help people better understand, give, give better understand tools, those right? issues yeah, and, I think, and, yeah, and, 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 and tackle them. I think when you, know, you talk about everybody's mental well-being, I think, you know, especially where we are now and in the industry we are and the way we all have this ecosystem on Twitter and stuff of being more open and sharing, right, you see right. it more and more. That's awesome, and I'm glad you see that. I'm glad people are there for each other. There are still so many people who are closeted by it, I think, who don't yeah, want to talk taboo. about public, Nobody, don't yeah, want to People don't it. like talking yeah. about it, yeah. And so I think even playing this, and if it was just a... It, it, one of the simplest things was here's how you meditate, right? I know how much that helped Dan Reichert, right? Like the ability to get this in there. This is the and new thing, this. right? Project Mara. This is the uh, new thing, yeah. This is Project Mara. Project Mara will be a real world and grounded representation of mental terror. Look at these graphics; they look photo real. Well, this is real. Uh, oh, this is. Oh, I thought yeah, yeah. I thought that was like PS5. I thought it was super. I think it's yeah, Kevin. If you want to go back to the front one, because they, they start. Oh, there. That's I, that's gameplay footage, I think. And if this is all fucking environments, you know. Put me. I mean, I mean, what does it say that we, we can't fucking tell the difference anymore? Here's the, 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 the summation from Xbox and that they talk about here. Project Mara will be a real world and grounded representation of mental terror. Based on real lived experience accounts and in depth research, our aim is to recreate the horrors of the mind as accurately and realistically as possible. Project Mara will be an experimental title and a showcase for what could become a new storytelling medium. Then I thought I thought that was fucking. I in think game. that's real. That's real. Is that not real? No, I I, I think it is now <coughs> that you point out. But I thought that was in game. I thought this was in game. Yeah, that's real too. I think that's what they're going for. So real quick, and I think this is one of the reasons they're doing it. They talk about this in the video, not in their press release. Only it's going to have only one character. You assume that's Mara, right? And then one, one location. location. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I I think you're going to be. It's still like it's going to be a small contained experience. The only thing I found about I'm, I'm very I'm Ninja Theory are getting a bit of shit today online for this. Like, are I'm they? Just, it's, yeah. Well, who's get? What's the shit they're doing? Yeah, the usual Twitter fuckery. Fuck them. Um, Go make something. This I, looks awesome, and they're handling I, I, it. I awesome. think it's great. The, well, the, 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 there's right here. If the video, you can't hear what you're saying, but right here, this is the only part that, I, that put me off a little bit. And you read it early when he says we're going to showcase mental terror mm -hmm. and and the horrors of the mind when he said it sounded a little bit lurid mm, when he said mm, it that okay, way like okay. don't like that sounded a bit exploitive i i think that was just a poor choice of words i i believe that they are genuinely i don't think they're exploiting this i think that they they, they genuinely think i think, this can be I like think it's that they're genuinely interested in all yeah. this right and again yeah. from where they started to have a breakout success like that that did handle these issues well to pay it forward and put it into insight to take the story they started and take this into what it would do to shape a religion to go the other way and get Give you like a, a horror game and play on what they've learned. Sure, Kevin, do you want to say something? I cut you off. Oh no, I was just gonna say, it, but like a lot of horror games, I feel like are, do that where they're exploiting, you know. Sure. Fears. Uh, and right there, I do think it's interesting too. They also debuted a new mission statement for the company to craft life-changing art with game-changing tech. I'm really interested to see what they come up with. Hey man, I, and in the one big thing that they talk about in the video that we that at the top and we didn't talk about here, they talk about the fact that. Since they got acquired by Xbox last year, the, or Jesus, two years ago, 2018, was it E3? Uh, since they got acquired by Xbox, yeah, 20, geez, 2018, was it really? Man, I'm old. Uh, since they got it, uh, entered, uh, acquired by them, they're able to do this. And this and this means that this is all going to be Xbox exclusive oh, stuff yeah. now, right? Yeah. Well, I maybe, say, oh yeah, but it's maybe, Xbox, they might not. Maybe down the road. Yeah, well, I don't even know down the road, you know how crazy Xbox is. I mean, yeah. I, I, and I think it would it might get in the way of you know depending on what the insight project is. What, Sony is sure. slowly opening up their platform. You know, even even just going to PC is more of a you know the boundaries are. I, I like to see. I like to think that the walls are going to increase. Keep on coming down. down. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, um, I think it's awesome. I think everything they did there's awesome. I think that's and not only is it an impressive video that they made, it's super impressive, and I think is a pat on the back to Xbox that they're a first party studio. They're like, sure, make this thing. Go do it. And it isn't Phil Spencer there. It isn't them trying to push Xbox. They say at the very start, right? Like, it's, you know, the freedom and the money has been able to let us do our own thing. Here's how we're handling that. Because I think when any smaller studio or studio that has a vision and a statement, right, has something to say, gets acquired by a, a bigger publisher, there is that, eh, are they going to screw anything yeah. up? Are they going to mess this up? Are they going to change anything? Well, I mean, we've seen it so many times with developers that EA have bought. And that was the moment mm -hmm. EA bought them was pretty much the beginning of the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah, I thought that was awesome. I I'm, all, I'm was all for it. I want. I want to. I want to see Project Mar. I want to see all this stuff. You want to keep talking Xbox? Sure. <laughs> Number two on the Roper Report. This is another one I need you to pull up for me, Kev. Kev. This is like a dry run for Xbox. I love you. 
No, you can't come up with our name on that. Oh, really? You know what I mean, yeah, that's just, we can't just do the I exact can't... same thing. Well, because it doesn't work. P.S. Yeah. I love you works. Exactly. That's Great movie. Great film. I'll come up with something. Okay, cool. Uh, number two, back of the, we got to look here at the back of the Xbox Series X hardware. It's been popping up online. We're reading from Brad Sams at Therat. Hey, Brad, how are you? Uh, two weeks ago. I wrote up the ports that were on the back of the Xbox Series X, and today you get to see them with your own eyes. Images of the hardware that show the front and back have found their way to the internet. The images were posted by Curry Panda on NeoGAF, and the images are authentic of the hardware, meaning this is not a fancy 3D printed model. Is this a dev kit? What is this? It's the prototype. Okay. Uh, we're going to talk about it. He goes into it here. Um, as I reported, uh, the back of the hardware contains an optical audio port, two USB-A ports, Ethernet, power, and a single HDMI port. The holes on the side of the ports are for venting, and that large rectangular port in the middle is for diagnostic reporting. I don't expect that port to be in the final hardware, and, and as always, these ports could change. The hole at the top of the Series X uh, does make it look like the back is removable, but I would expect that to be since this is a pre-production unit and may need to be serviced to debug or update the hardware as they revise the final product. Kev, if you scroll down or maybe... Oh, he didn't bet. If you click on that Curry Panda NeoGAF second hyperlink there, that'll take you and show you the top of the box because there's multiple things. I think it's just the most interesting. Well, somehow we're in the back of NeoGAF. Oh, wow. Neo no, no, scroll down. Scroll NeoGAF down, looks really different since the last time I was there like yeah, I don't, years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. Um, what is odd? Maybe you can't find it. No big doko. What is odd is that the barcode and serial number are identifiable in this image. Uh, Microsoft tracks these prototypes, and the person who was assigned this hardware is about to have a bad day. That being said, at least you can now understand the actual design of the back of the Xbox Series X. What do you take away from the back of the Xbox I mean, series? you know, it's... it's, it's, it's <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> Moving us around the screen down there. I love it. It's, it, you know, it's it's the back of a box with a bunch of ports that you would, you'd expect to see. USB, HDMI. The, 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 own, the story, I guess, is that there's no uh, HDMI in, which the Xbox One famously had and was a product of its original... Entertainment, entertainment. Ill-fated Ill -fated launch to make it... I, I did, but it was shit. <laughs> It was terrible. It would, it, it, you know, like half the time it wouldn't work. Jesus. It would say All we right. can't detect a cable signal, even though there was one. I don't even have cable anymore. But the original plan was that the, 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 the Xbox is the only machine you the ever hub, need. Even if you want to watch TV, room. you would still yeah. get it. There. But like the guide wasn't good. The channel guide wasn't good. It, I didn't like that. It was, it was slow to change channels. Um, Xbox on. Yeah, it, it was shit. Xbox change channel. And you know, obviously the Kinect is gone now uh, and has been for for a long time. Uh, and now that, that HDMI in was like really the last kind of vestigial remnant of the folly that was the Xbox One original launch. And now that's gone. Like no one was going to use that port. I, you wish know? We, I wish we got w the side profile <coughs> one because yeah. I'd like to compare all three to try to get a visual of like this looks cool. This is a cool looking. Oh, box. you know, the Xbox One X Series X, I, I think looks dope. Yeah. Really? I thought you didn't like I, Oh, the I tower? Said, I, like the I, tower. I like the whole monolithic. Oh, no, I do. I totally do. Would and you, you can put it on its side? How, Great. How, how will you orient your. I list? have an entertainment center, so it's going to be on my side. It's gonna oh, but I'm going to put it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, I like the idea of it. On the standing. side of all of that? See, no, I, 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 I like gonna, the idea of it. put it on top. Uh -huh. Right now, my Xbox One is like, you know, horizontal in a little slot in my entertainment center. Yeah, yeah. But I think what I'll do is take the new one, the Series X, and stand it vertically on top of the entertainment center. Okay. So it can. My, look, my TV is so impressive. close to the top of my entertainment center, oh, it would yeah, be in the way. Would, it, would, it would block and, it. And so I, I like to be it, but I don't want to put it on the side, because on the side already I have PlayStation VR, and this little he headrest looks garbagey. Right. i got to figure out a better way to you store like that. that? I like it fine, but that it looks little, weird. That little headrest is such a good little charger, too. The headrest is a great charger. Yeah. Everything's great about it. It's just that it's just, in the, it's just on the floor. It's just on the floor next to all my shit. That looks just nice. in general. these, these Jen has gone and spent a lot of time and money to make our house look good, and I'm just filling it with toys. All right? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's easy for your entertainment center to get out of hand with all the cables totally. and whatnot. Now, here's the big thing. Yeah. None of you, you're like, oh, it looks like the back of this thing. Whatever. Frankfurter says, no, thank you. He writes into patreon.com slash games and says, good morning, Greg and Gary. First and foremost, why no USB-C ports? With the amount of USB ports with their controllers being rechargeable, or will we... Will, oh, I'm sorry. With the amount of USB ports, will their controllers be rechargeable, or will we have to still use batteries? Why does the backside of the console seem hollow looking at the top of the screen uh, through the thing? Uh, with that being the prototype, do you think it'll actually be the final design? Or did they reveal this design at the Game Awards in case somebody did a leak dev kit to throw people off the scent? Here's what I'm going to say. That's the real design of the Xbox Series X. I don't think you, that was going to throw anybody off the scent. But the, the USB-C is a good question, I guess. Because me, being Greg Miller, an idiot... When PlayStation's like, oh, it's going to be USB-C's for the, play the PS5, I was like, oh, awesome. 
I thought, because I'm a moron, right, the same USB plug that I always have and then the USB-C that goes in the controller. I never thought it was going to be like my iPod or no, my the uh, new, the iPad. New, the Series X controllers will definitely be USB-C. Yeah. On their end. Yeah. But you're going to have a USB-C to USB-A cable to plug it in and charge it. Yeah. yeah. I, it's a good point. I'm actually a little bit disappointed now you bring it up. USB-C... I, I, I fucking love USB-C so much. It's the first USB cable that doesn't really annoy Piss you me. off. Oh, my God. The you worst. go the one way. Oh, it's not the other USB. Sometimes go you got to do it three times. Yeah. No, like, you, it's every three times. It's right? always three times. And, oh, that doesn't work. You flip it. Oh, that doesn't oh, work. Oh, it actually works the oh, first the time. Third I just time. didn't get it right. Fuck off. Micro USB can fuck off. I hate that shit so much. Yeah, why isn't there a USB-C on there? Because that's the future. And this is But here's my thing. is It's supposed to be future forward. I, th I think that I'm... My interpretation is a dumb dumb about how you're going to get it with PS4 is the same as PS5. this. PS5. Sorry, PS5, you're right. Where you know, I'm looking right now to see if anybody's more techy and smart than me has talked about this. Because obviously we, they've said USB-C for PlayStation 5 stuff, right? But I've never thought about the other end of the, the cable. I'm just looking at a random Reddit post that brings up there has to be some USB-A since they said you can play your current gen PSVR on it. Yeah, and there's a lot of USB things that you, know, you, you want to have, have at least a legacy... Uh, port, but why not have a, a forward-looking port as well? Have USB-C. It's weird. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm yeah, I'm looking at I'm just seeing the controller here for P PlayStation 5, trying to figure it all out. I never thought we were moving to that crazy The thing. new, I mean, just, I mean, the new um, Xbox Elite controller, which is out now for the Xbox One, yeah. is USB-C. So it's going to be, and when you're charging controllers, you'll be using USB-C, guaranteed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. question is, what's on the other end of the of the plug? Yeah, and right now it looks like USB A, and I think I, that's what I would have thought, and I would have never thought different of it until I saw Frankfurter write in all mad about it. We're not to that part of the future yet, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah, you just gotta live. Just gotta I live. I presume. I, I presume at least that they are USB three point one. Uh, they'll be fast. Well, the article if you're, you're going to plug they in an external have, drive or something, have, it needs to be fast. They didn't have the like widely done blue though. The, it didn't. It didn't. It didn't look blue, but that. You think Who knows? Rid of that? Hold on, IGN had a breakdown they have, they about to their be, logo. There's no fucking way they're putting a USB 2.0 port in that box. That's why, madness. Why do you need fast transfer speeds? Hard, external hard drive? Mm hmm. Because uh, I thought somebody I was reading on this today. Ports on the back of the console. This is IGN. Demonstrate a fairly typical arrangement, including single HDMI out, uh, an Ethernet optical port, two USB C A ports. Somebody talked about the fact that why it had they, the why little... Why do they still put optical audio on there? Is because that for like it real... works for headphones. You need it. It's essential. It makes life way easier. What, you can't, you can't just use um, Bluetooth or regular USB for your headphones? You can't use Bluetooth, with, uh, at least with current gen, unless you buy a Bluetooth adapter. But why don't you just use the, the whatever headset plugs right into your controller? That's what right. I use. That's what I do. Works yeah, great. Yeah, but like, I, I like having my like wireless A50s Astros. And you Isn't optical in. more for like a, like real AV nerds that want to plug it into an amp or something? Well, the like, Astro, yeah, I mean that the, the Astros are really nice. So like they have like a bunch of speakers in there, so they utilize stuff. Um, I haven't I haven't used an optical cable in years. But like the I other use day, it for my soundbar. I have it go from my okay. TV to my soundbar. The okay. other day I uh, was playing a PS3 game. It had optical out, so uh, it was actually Peace Walker. Uh, so I plugged in my headphones via the optical out, and then I plugged in the Astro base to the USB on my laptop, and I was able to connect via Discord and mix audio there. So PS3 doesn't have, uh, like, a, the group, whatever it's called, the, like, where you can play with people and talk to them. So I was able to play with Blessing via these headphones because they had the optical I out. never thought about that. You know, I um, I just did a big cable clear out the other day. You know, like, every every... You've got it at home somewhere. That the big drawer. fucking rat king yeah. of, of yeah. cables. Yeah. I yeah, finally you don't have went. Them organized? I've, well, not just a drawer. Like I had like two big um, uh, shelving units. All these drawers, and they had like okay, this is like for my for my power cables. This is for my game controllers. This is my USB shit. You know, like, it's all stored away for yeah. when I because I like, when I need to find a cable, I like to be able to find it. hundred percent. Over the years, it had all become a big shit show. So I finally spent most of Sunday. You know, detangling cables, and it's annoying, but it's frust it's frustrating, but it's oh, but it feels good. It's it satisfying. Oh, it's, it's satisfying when you get it done. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I threw out. I, I, I threw out all my old mini USBs because nothing, virtually nothing. I kept, you always keep a couple just in case you might need it one day. Yeah, like I, I still have a couple of old thirty point Apple connectors. Just you just never know. I have an old iPad every once in a while. Right. I pull out and it, so you know. always keep always keep an old connector just in case. But I threw out most of the mini USBs, and I threw out all of my optical cables. 
but I kept one. So again, you just never know. Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah, yeah. But you, you made a good point. I might. Who knows? I might need it one day. See, I tried to be better. I tried to be better because I have the cable drawer, right? When Kevin yeah. came over years ago now to play Monster Hunter, remember that? I was in the spare bedroom. I'm like, you want to see something impressive. sexy, Kevin? He's like, Very not really. I was like, no, come in. And I pulled it out, and there's all the cables arranged in, in uh, Velcro tied. He's oh, like, oh, yeah, this looks it's great. beautiful. But then I had the the junk drawer of the old consoles, the old PSPs, the old controllers, right. all this stuff. Right. And finally, after years of that sitting there, I was like, you know what? I got to clean this out. And I went in there and just started chucking stuff. Yeah. And I made... Uh, it feels uh, good to get rid of all that old I shit. I made a fatal you, mistake, I pull, You pull out a cable and ask yourself, when's the last time I fucking used this cable? Made a fatal mistake, man. What did you where, do? PS3, obviously, I'm keeping this. Yeah. No, all, all my photos are on it still. You know, it's my media center. Okay. Then it was, though, I picked up the PS3 controller and I was like, I loved you a lot, DualShock, but I know, because I talk about it on the shows, the PlayStation 4 controller works with the PS3 now. Chucked it, right? Um, years go by, maybe a year and a half, whatever, start this stupid PlayStation show again with Blessing. And he's like, hey, let's play Peace Walker. And I'm like, I don't know. And he's like, you should play Peace Walker again, Greg. And I'm like, should I? And he's like, you should probably Platinum. I'm like, Blessing, I like it where you're going. Came home, put it together, plugged it all in. Fucking goddamn it! The PlayStation button for the place on the PlayStation Four controller doesn't work for the PS3. Oh, so you can't like go back to cross media. I'm like, so God, it's not fully damn. compatible. Yeah, it's it's got it's got all these little hits. That's like, weird. You want me to lend you one? No, I'm living fine. Right. You know what I mean? I, 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 I mean, it that hurts was my heart. Something uh, that was actually something else that I, I tossed a bunch of old du uh, Dual Shock Threes because I'm never going to use them again. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I, who am keep, I going to give them to? Yeah, you no, got to no. keep at least one, guys. I do. I, I, keep, know, I keep one. You're right. I screwed it up. I screwed up. I threw away all my old Wii controllers, but I kept one. Yeah, just a bunch of old Dude, shit. Just work. like it's just I, I have no use for it anymore. For a while, I've wanted to do a like a frame that has like every generation of PS3 controllers oh, nice. on there that I can actually power and pull the PS4 controller off and use, and then put back up when I'm like don't want it. Yeah, that's cool. You That's should cool. do that. Right there. Gary, Number right three there. on the Roper Report. We have some Half Life Alex news. This is out of an AMA that happened yesterday. Both IG articles are coming from IGN. We'll start with. Joe Screbbles, a made-up name, talking about how the game is actually done. According to its developers, Valve's much-anticipated VR spinoff, Half-Life Alex, is being polished and bug-fixed and is playable in its entirety, and they really don't think it'll be delayed, no matter what you've heard about the dreaded, quote, Valve time. Speaking on Reddit AMA, the official account wrote... The official account wrote, With the exception of some tweaks to the absolute final scene, the game is done. Lots of us at Valve, as well as playtesters, have played through the entire game multiple times. Right now, we're primarily polishing and fixing bugs, which is where we'd hope to be at this point in the development cycle. We're confident we'll hit our intended release. Parentheses, we let the Valve time happen before we announce the game. End quote. One user went on to ask if gameplay videos would be released before Half-Life Alex's March 2020 release, to which the team replied, quote, yes, it's our plan to release gameplay videos in the lead-up to launch. Our intention is to use these to showcase not just gameplay elements, but also VR-specific elements, like different movement options, end quote. We don't know a great deal about the game beyond, oh man, look at that, come on, Joe Scrabble's made-up name, you misspelled beyond in your article. Oh, actually, you know, maybe I did that when my computer froze. That might be me. Joe Scrabble's made-up name, I take it back. Uh, what was shown in the reveal trailer above. However, we do know that it will be single-player only, that it takes place between Half-Life 1 and 2, and that it's about the length of Half-Life 2. Which is big. Half-Life 2 is a big game. Yeah. You must have, you loved PCs before you fell in love with consoles. You loved Half-Life, I'm assuming? One of your oh, games? yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, st I still remember like when, when the first Half-Life demo came into the PC Gamer office, it's still one of, the mo one of the, my, the most memorable days in my games journalism career because like, the whole office just stopped and everyone was crowded around watching it because we'd never seen anything like it. Yeah. It was a total, total game changer. Half-Life 2 took it to the next level. The episodes were great. I mean, some of the, some of the, for, for me, and again, it's, it's interesting to think about how like, for a lot, there's a whole generation of gamers that have grown up Post Half Life, like for them, it's like it, it, you know, it was a thing that happened before oh, yeah, yeah. they were even born. Yeah, they've just heard about Half Life Three for their entire life, right? <laughs> um, but you know, I, I I love that Valve's made all the Half Life titles free as a way to kind of onboard people who may have missed it. If you've never played the Half Life games, they're all free. Fucking go on Steam and get all of them because they're fantastic. Um, and I'm very very excited about this. In fact, yesterday in preparation for this, because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get my hands on a Valve. Uh, index as much as I love one. Yeah. Uh, I took my Oculus Quest Hell yeah, you did. and did the necessary steps to Rift Link it, which I'd never done before. Now, I haven't done it yet either. <laughs> I need to do it for Half-Life Alex as well. <laughs> Isn't it just a USB-C to it's, it, or whatever? So you need a USB-C 
uh, to USB A, but it has to be USB three. Okay. A. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, the yeah. blue one. Sure. Okay. Um, make sure you've got a USB three port on your PC. Okay. Uh, to plug it into, sure. or, or it could be USB C. It could be U- it could be C to C. You could go that gotcha. way as okay. well. Yeah. Um, make sure it's long. I ordered one. There's one that um, they've they've brought out their uh, Oculus has launched their own one. It's really expensive, like a seventy five dollar. Cable, but it's like 16 feet long, so it's plenty of room for like you know, full room experience. Yeah, yeah. I got like a much cheaper <laughs> one from Anchor, which was still really good. Plugged it in, um, and yeah, like you have, you have to come jump through a couple of little hoops, install a couple of updates and stuff like that. I but love basically, your quest becomes a Rift, yeah. and now everything on my uh, on my Rift library is now playable through the quest, which is great. Yeah. So I'm hoping that that will be enough. I need to get for on me it. to play um, Alex using that setup. This, this is a silly question but which, which one is the quest the quest is the quest was, the one we have it's that we the, love it's, the wireless it's that, the ha- it's the hand it's the hands-free one i mean not hands-free it's the it's the it's the one that does everything okay. without needing it's to the one we love which, which one's the go then the that's, go, the, that's the, the other one the go oh. was the hand the go was the self-contained one before that but was very very got low it. powered got yeah it was like didn't mobile su- games right? didn't support hand controllers you couldn't do much with it got it do you want me to order this cable for the office one i mm, i mean yeah, okay. Wink, yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you I think I got my you, cable you, you, at home. Well, actually, you know what? Hold on, not. Nah. No, don't. But wait, how are you? Slack me about you it. Don't, you don't even have a PC at home, do you? How are you I do. Gonna... Jen has one. Oh, okay. I don't is know if it, you know Is this. it powerful enough to run VR I, games? I, oh, who the fuck knows? You know what I mean? You who the to... fuck knows? If I, I wish I could tell you, Gary. I look at this PC. It's it's black and it's got like red lights on it and shit. And like, it looks. But you I don't mean, know what the specs are. It ran kind words for me. That's, that's, a, that's a technical po- powerhouse, right? <laughs> I played that game. <laughs> Uh, it's a Lenovo. Have you played? Have you played the Half Life games? Uh, I've started them. I've never enjoyed them, so I always stop them. Well, then maybe then maybe this isn't going to be for you either. Well, no, because big- I mean, like, it's, I think it's just Half Life Two for me struggled the same way that other games do. Where or, <laughs> the other way, uh, it suffered from overhyping. By the time I got my hands on Half Life Two in the orange box or whatever yeah. on Xbox 360, and I started, it, I was just like, I don't get it. What, what's so great and revolutionary about this? Because I think games had already come further than where that was. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, you have to remember you, like, like, what you what you're doing is, you know, you're playing you're you're playing that game in a world in which all the all the shit that it inspired. Yep. You played. You ended up playing that first. So you go back and go, was well, it special? Well, when you play, if you played it when it first came out, and like I said, you'd never seen anything like that at 100%. the time. percent. You would appreciate it. And uh, I'm not knocking more. it for that. It was just I couldn't get into the world, and I couldn't. I didn't enjoy the myself. big the big question for me, and if any game's going to do it, it's this one. Uh-huh. Um, is can because this has never happened to me, and I, and I really do like VR. I'm a big believer in it. I want it to go to the next level. Um, can we finally cross that barrier, at least for me, where I'm willing to put on a headset and play a game that is as long as like a full-on 20 or 30-hour game? Not necessarily all, all at once, but like, can, am I finally going to play a game the way I would play a regular game that I'm really into three or four hours at a time in VR? Because typically, I, like that VR fatigue always sets in after like 20, 30 minutes, and you kind of want to take... The headset maybe off. for you i was is, born is, for VR. is this game going to be so immersive that i'm not I, I, i'm going to forget that you know i mean i've been in vr for a really long time I you haven't had so. that yet uh-huh for me it was Star- resident evil where you i did four hours of resident evil star seven. trek bridge crew i did play oh, for hours at a time nice, nice that's good but that that was as much for the social aspect sure you should have done a kind of funny Star Trek Bridge Crew party mode. You missed out. Uh, we did, you sir. YouTube.com slash kind of funny games. Check it out. It was one of Very Andy's good. first videos he ever made here. I, we, I, we, we, did, we did a couple of streams, and it's so much fun. How long is that one? Okay. Um, now, the hold one, on. The one, the one that, that'll work. How long is it? Ten foot. So that's all right. You say it'll work, but I have a euro. The it, one, if, since Kevin's not showing you, and you might be driving that, a bus full of nuns, we're looking at a USB-C cable online right now. Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna give. You, uh, let me pull up my Amazon and I'll tell you exactly. What Nanobiologist it writes into kindoffunny.com slash you're wrong. Says not any USB C cable will do for Oculus Quest Link. <laughs> Oculus Link requires a high quality USB three cable. Yes. We recommend looking for a high quality USB C two C or USB A two C ca- cable with proven performance. Points to keep in mind: the USB three cable should approximately be three meters (parentheses ten feet) for an optimal and comfortable experience. The charging cable that came with your Quest won't work with the Oculus Link software, motherfuckers. The Quest charging cable is USB 2, while the Oculus Link requires a USB 3 cable that can support both power and data. Then Kevin, I don't think it's our Kevin, wrote in and said, if you want to know if your PC is compatible with the VR Valve, 
has a quote, are you ready for Valve Index? Kevin, I just Kevin, I just texted you the cable that I bought from Amazon, which I used yesterday, which definitely works. But my question is, do, do it's I... It's made by Anchor. Um, they are making... Anchor makes of, good you, stuff? You can also get the official one from Facebook, but it's like 75 bucks because it's a really, really high-end one. Sure. Like fiber optic shit and stuff. Yeah. But that's the yeah. best, right? That's, that's, uh, yeah. $75, I think, great. Kevin! Versus this one but that it's, I just it's long. Kevin! It's longer? They gave us two quests. Do you think I can't convince them to give us two fucking cables? Oh, no, I, I didn't think about that. Kevin, split the, split the difference. God, I hate looking around split, this couch the, at you. Get the anchor one that I just, I think it's like 20 bucks, and it de it's like 10 feet long, it definitely works. But the Facebook one that they made is like 15, 16 feet long, like it's a proper VR cable. It's meant to be super long. Well, now you're making me want that 16 foot one. Get that one then. It's seventy five bucks. I have the, more Half Life Alex get. news. This is from Matt Perslow at IGN. A real name. Uh, they've changed the voice actor for Alex. Discussing the game on Reddit as part of Half Life Alex's AMA, Valve said, "Quote: We worked with Merle Dandridge uh, at the beginning of Half Life Alex development, but in the end, felt we wanted to go in a different direction." We love Merle. Her work in Half Life Two was instrumental in bringing Alex to life, and we hope to work with her again in the future. Uh, Merle Dandridge voiced Alex Vance, Gordon Freeman's key companion, in Half-Life 2 and its two episodic expansions. As the only person to voice the character, Dandri Dandridge, I guess, right? Dandridge's vocals have become iconic for one of the most recognizable women in games. As such, many players were disappointed to learn that she won't be reprising her role for Half-Life Alex, in which Vance is the protagonist. Valve has offered no further explanation beyond this, uh, which has left many people in the Reddit thread frustrated. It is currently unclear why Valve wished to go in another direction, or <coughs> sorry, or even what that direction is. Theories tend to land around the idea of Valve wanting a younger voice as Half-Life Alex is a prequel and thus features a younger Alex. But without further comment from Valve, it is unclear of the studio's intentions. Alex will this time be played by... Ozioma Akaga. Thank you. Her father, Eli Vance, has also been recast with James Moses Black stepping into Robert Guillaume. Guillaume, really? Mm -hmm. uh, his role. Uh, this change, however, is due to Guillaume having passed away. Oh, that's sad. What, how's that strike you, fan? Look, I, I, I trust Valve when they make these creative decisions. Um, there's any number of reasons why they why they may have decided that uh, the original actress's voice wasn't a good was fit this Was a perfect this for this out. project, yeah. Uh, any number of reasons. I trust them. I'm I'm sure I'm sure that if they had felt their, their their initial instinct was to go back to the original. Actress. And it sounds like they did, right? They brought her in. Maybe her voice changed. Maybe something about the performance wasn't striking them as right. What's interesting is this is this is actually a little bit uh, new territory for Half Life because Half Life famously the protagonist who's always been Gordon. Fr actually, it's not true in um, uh, Blue Shift. Uh, an opposing force. You did play a different character, but those were a little spin. This is a spin off as well. But typically, you know, Gordon Freeman famously never speaks. As a protagonist, he never speaks. Yeah. Um, but in this one, as Alex, you're presumably she's going to have a full speaking role. Yeah. So I, I I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I, this can't get here soon enough for me. I can't wait. I wish I had an index because I feel you... like with the index controllers oh, yeah. with the knuckles, yeah. you'll have like full, you know, give everybody like the real hand movement. Yeah. yeah you yeah. Can do all this kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I, but again, I'm not going to get a fucking index, and I'm not going to, I'm not going to drop a grand on one. Do you, you can't even this, get them right now. Do you think this will hit March? In in March? Yeah, I trust them. Yeah, I think so. They, they said they already used their valve time. So a lot of people say stuff. If like they're that. saying it's, if they're Neo saying it's basically me. close to gold now, yeah, why not? Okay. Absolutely, I cannot wait. I, I think one of the big things that could delay it is the index itself. Because er, uh, last week, earlier this week, there was a thing of like, oh, we hope, you know, Valve Index is sold out right now, but we hope to have more, we're going to have more stock out by the, the release right, of Valve. Right, but it's, all, but it's also going to support all the other sure, major but I'm Valve. I want you to buy the well. Index. I want you to have to right. buy the Index right. if I can't get you out there. I would, I'm, I, you know, I, I'm going to see if I can find some way to borrow an Index or something because if, you, if you're going to play it, yeah. This this is a game that again Half Life is very very special to me in my career my history as a gamer. I feel I feel like I'm going to play. I've always dreamed of the idea of like a Half Life VR, and because Valve has been so heavily invested in VR over the years, it made sense that they were eventually going to marry the two things. Sure. Like like their biggest. I mean, you know, obviously at this point you could argue that Dota is is bigger for them, but like you know Half Life is like when you think of Valve. And gamers that have been around for long enough to, to witness the whole history of Valve, when you think of Valve, the first fucking thing you think of is Half-Life. Like, that is their signature franchise. Yeah. And to bring and 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 those Half-Life games are so fucking good. And there was like they, those those are like monumental moments in my career as a gamer. I go back and I think like the first time I saw Super Mario 
64. I was like, holy shit. Uh, the first time I played Half-Life. Like there, there were those holy shit moments. Sure. And Half-Life for me, both one and two, and the episodes uh, were, were all of that. And the you know, Blue Shift opposing force, just so fucking good. I actually i am thinking about going back and replaying them uh, in, in uh, preparation. <coughs> For, uh, for, okay. for Alex. You need to stream um, them? But, but that means that if I'm going to play it, I should play it on like... The best. The best. So you're just in, trying to, the best you're just trying to po- sell it to yourself so you can sell it to your wife I'm not, so you can buy it. I'm not going to drop mm-hmm. $1,000 on, on an index. Think about it this way, though, right? You canceled your Stadia pre-order. I could I could write it off. So there's 125 bucks you can take out of the index because you already so saved that only, money. So it's only $875. Think of it this way. You're not buying a Cybertruck and you want one. Look oh. at that. Now you're in the Now you're in the plus side of it. You're in the black on this whole thing. Just think about it. And plus, and plus, it's research, right? I could, I, I could buy. You're not going to be working on a VR game at some point. A, this is a tax write-off for me. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Totally. It's right Do you want off. me to get the order together and I can send you all that well, stuff? Well, but aren't, aren't, aren't they? Aren't they? Aren't they? I've left it too late. Aren't they all sold out? Again, they say they're going to have more before launch. We'll see. Maybe, if they maybe I'll, maybe I'll maybe probe. Launch in November. Maybe I'll probe my Valve connections and see what I can do. Sounds gross when you say like that. What? Get in there. I gotta do it. I gotta get an index, don't I? There you go. You got it to. Sounds That's it. Like you have to. I have. I you're have. Real gamer I know some or people not. at Valve. I know some people that are, that are very into the VR world. I might be at least, at least borrow one. For Think a of bit. it this way: we all know that Gabe's very public about his email address. You could just email Gabe Newell. Gabe's a friend of mine. There you go. See, done. You're telling me Gabe can't hook you up with it? Come on. He you're can. Getting whether or not he would, I hate asking people for favors. Sure. I'd rather well, just spend the long money long. and buy one. Yeah, but I don't really care. All right. <laughs> Number four, 10 cents buying fun Wait, com. Wait, when did I last ask you for a favor? I don't know. Some, uh, you don't really that often. Game code. You asked me to retweet stuff, but it's always Every, good stuff. Yeah but, that, yeah, but that's always for someone else's benefit. Yeah, yeah it's really for you. Yeah, we're, we're I never to... think of myself, Greg. It's true, yeah, everybody. It's, it's true. It's never about me. It's never been about me. It's what can I do for other people. Gary would have pays it forward, all right? He's thrown the ladder back down. Number four. Tencent's buying Funcom. Tencent has today announced a voluntary cash offer to acquire all shares in Norwegian game developer Funcom. Tencent, a leading internet company with a strong online... I'm sorry. Yeah, that's right. Online games operation is a shareholder in many leading game developers, such as Riot Games, Epic, Supercell, Ubisoft, Paradox, and Frontier. The company already owns close to 29% of the shares in Funcom, and news of the intended takeover is greeted with enthusiasm from a whole bunch of people giving out word salad quotes that I Are you going to read this whole thing? It's just three more paragraphs. I know, but it's all just like business bullshit, isn't well, okay, it? Okay, I can leave that off. You know, following the intended acquisition, there are no plan changes to Funcom management, staffing, or structure, uh, with the company set to remain an independent business. Funcom will also continue to support its long-running online games, Conan Exiles, Secret World Legends, Age of Conan, and Anarchy Online. Uh, Funcom founded in 93, 27-year history, following the success of online survival games Conan Exiles. In addition to various projects, in, in, including the continued support for Conan Exiles, the Norwegian games developers are currently uh, developing an open-world multiplayer survival game based on Frank Hubert's Dune. Dune? What, that one of yours? That seems like one of yours. What do you mean? You read in the Dune books? You mean a big Dune door? I, I mean, I, I read the original Dune. I didn't read all the others, but no. I liked it. I like Dune. Okay. New okay. movie's supposed to be really good. Written by my good friend John Spates. Oh, okay. What I else has he worked on? Um, Doctor Strange. Oh, okay. Cool. I'm in. I'll see that. What do you think about this? Um, ten cents buying more stuff. Look, Getting more involved with games. It's ten cents world. It's Ten Cents World. We all just live in it. I'll give you. A, you remember that scene? Do you see uh, Looper, the Ryan Johnson movie? Looper. Sure, did. Love Looper. There's uh, there's a scene in that where Joseph Gordon Levitt, uh, Joseph Gordon Levitt, who's the hitman, you know, goes to visit yep. the Jeff Daniels character, and the Jeff Daniels character is someone who has been sent back in time by the mob mm-hmm. to manage the 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 Loopers, you know, the hitman. Yeah. And Joseph Gordon Levitt's retiring, and he's cashing out. And and Jeff Daniels says to him, "Where are you? Where are you going to go? Like, what are you do with your time?" He says, "I think I'm going to go to Paris." And Jeff Daniels says, "You should go to China." And he says, "No, I'm thinking about Paris." And Jeff Daniels says, "Trust me, I'm from the future. Go to China." And it just makes me think, "Yeah, that's he's fucking right." Like it's it's ten cents world. We're all just living in it. Yeah. And 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 the, and and the, and, the, and the financial, economic, and dare I say, political and cultural influence of all that Chinese money flooding into western media is going to continue to have um all kinds of consequences yeah yeah it's another one of those you know i think we obviously with the free hong kong stuff yeah uh and blitz chung where we covered intense yeah. intense so in the there. nba you're gonna see it all in all kinds of media yeah and I, I i'm not anxious i'm interested to see 
what the next one of those kind of flare ups is and if it's handled the exact same way. Yeah. Like, right. It has there been repercussions from all this, both on other sides? It was the whole thing with uh, uh, Blizzard about it, right? Where it yeah. was still unclear of like them being like, no one told us to do this. We did this. This is, how, you know, and it's like. Which nobody bought. But, it, well, we bought it to the thing of was, so we're, are you terrified of them? So you made the choices right. the way you did? Or right. is it that. They really did say. Well, the, do that. The, the 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 part that nobody bought was when they said this was nothing to do with appeasing our Chinese partners. Yeah, of course yeah. it was. Yeah, of course, of course, of course it was. So yeah, what those ramifications and repercussions will be will continue to be interesting. But those ramifications and repercussions are still so far away. Gary, if I wanted something more immediate, where would I go? The official list of upcoming software across each and every platform, as listed by the kind of funny games daily show hosts each and every weekday. Mm, do, 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 yeah. Out today, PUBG Corporation is happy to announce that Season 6 and Survivor Pass Shakedown are now live. The update includes brand new 2x2 map that is sure to bring intense and high-tension combat right from the drop. Uh, Karakin also introduced breach points on buildings, sticky bombs, penetrable walls to shoot through, and the Black Zone, which takes away the safety of buildings by destroying them utterly. Update 6.1 is now live on PC servers and will be arriving on console January 30th. I like that they're, um, you know, PUBG is a pretty mature game at this point. I like that they're continuing to add interesting sure. new features. When's the last to time it? you touched PUBG? Oh, you were... like a couple. Of, I can't play it anymore. Like yeah. a couple of years ago, I was yeah. really, really into it for for a hot minute. Yeah. And then I just realized I'm not. I'm just not. And nor am I ever going to be good enough to be competitive. Competitive enough to really enjoy playing it. Yeah. So I just quit. I understand. Uh, Lumini, right? Xbox One. Yes. Football, Tactics, and Glory. PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Switch. Uh, Balthazar's Dream on PlayStation 4 and Vita. Wait, that game, is my games PSN are still game coming out for the Vita? Of course, it lives. Usually, they're cheap cash ins for Platinums, and I'm pretty stoked because this is the one I got assigned on uh, <laughs> PS I Love You. Uh, Watt Theater. Blood of Winter. I wonder if it's War Theater, but it says Watt Theater, Blood of Winter, PS4. Alien Shooter 2, The Legend on PC. Game of Puzzles, Space, which sounds like a Space Rocks knockoff on PC. Could be. Look Inside on PC. Inglorious Pirate on PC. Formula Car Racing Simulator on PC. None Mac. of those really jump out at me no. at all. No, no, that's none Kevin, of that. Kevin, you don't no. have to pull in the trailers this week. Uh, new dates, though. Uh, Xbox <laughs> Game Pass. Kevin, there? Kevin was totally fucking dozed uh, off. He's, he's ready. And when he heard his name, he was in there. I'm here. I'm, I'm, here, awake, I'm, here. I'm in here. Uh, Xbox Game Pass is getting a couple different games, and they're good ones. Uh, arriving January 23rd. That's tomorrow. A Plague Tale Innocence uh, on excellent console. Game. Excellent and, game. Uh, PC. And then Indivisible. What's another, Indivisible? Another excellent game. Uh... Kevin, bring that up, because I, I remember that one making the rounds of everybody loving that I one. I feel like the name kind of rings a bell. I feel like when you pull it, I'll go, oh, yeah, that, I, I know that. Like, I'm just not putting it together in my head right now. Um, and then arriving on the 30th, it's Sea Salt, a compatible, or a console and PC, and then Fishing Sim World Tour. Is that the one you got obsessed with? I think it is, yeah. Yeah, because you were all I was streaming. I was playing that on PlayStation for a yeah, bit. See, I, I hooked some pretty big fish. There you go. That's the one we're doing for Indivisible. Oh, yeah. I think I, I think I have this on Steam. Indivisible is an action RPG platformer uh, featuring stunning hand-drawn art and animation combined with unique real-time combat mechanics. Yeah, it's a real good-looking game. <laughs> yeah, this is one that I remember making the rounds and, ever, and people being super stoked on. It wasn't my jam kind of game, so I, I never really gave it a look. But a game pass now. What do you have to lose? Deal of the day for you. This one comes from Ignacio Rojas, who wrote in to patreon.com slash kindoffunnygames to tell you the deal of the day is Xbox One X is currently discounted at $349.99 in the United States. Wait, wait, is that an official Microsoft price drop? I mean, that's from Ignacio Rojas. It might just be a discount right now. In the, all right. Xbox. <laughs> hi, Andy. You, uh, you walked in, you distracted Gary, so now I'm saying hi to you. You can distract me. <laughs> I mean, he, it sounds like he did. You know what I mean? Kevin, how much is an Xbox One X right now? Um, give me a second. I'm going to Google it. Go, go, to, go to the Microsoft site, because be the, 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 they'll give you the MSRP. Amazon. I mean, Amazon has it just for Ignacio. Xbox One X bundles are $349 at Amazon. All right. I mean, now, now's the time. Shop Xbox One X. There you go. I mean, but you there know, you go. Look, look, discounted on um, official price drop for a little bit from there. From four ninety nine to three forty nine. I mean, this. I mean, this is the time to do it now, right? The, the last year before the next gen comes out. I mean, out. you have less than a year, right? You have mere months now. That's the thing. If you've waited this long, just wait for the Series X. Again, do the Gary Witta math. I'm going to put aside in my head three forty nine now. Well, that's why they're dropping the price. Now, when the Xbox Series that. X comes out at five hundred dollars, I'm like, well, you know what? It's really only one fifty. I'm telling you, just I, I I don't know why I I'm excited, but 
This this next gen of consoles just can't get here soon enough. For oh, me. who doesn't love your bells so, and whistles? Kevin, are you excited? Oh yeah, hundred percent. Kevin loves tech. Oh, I love it. What are you more excited about, PS5 or Series X? Evan, silly. You're billing Kevin's Kevin. stew on that, and let's go into reader mail. You can be the first reader mail question. Of course, if you want your submit question submitted, go to patreon.com slash kindoffunnygames, where you can get the show ad-free. Speaking of ads, Greg Way, let's tell you about today's sponsors. We're brought to you today by Manscaped. Uh, support for Kind of Funny Games Daily comes from Manscaped, who is the best in men's below the belt grooming. Manscaped offers precision jewels for your family, or precision tools for your family jewels. It's 2020, and you know what that means. New year, new me, new balls. Men, listen up. Harry Bushes are so 2019. If you are going to. <coughs> Damn it. I'm almost. The cold is almost completely out of my system. But then it's little things like that where I can't inhale. If you are going to pick. Any New Year's resolution this year, let it be to take care of your junk. Manscaped is making it easy with their grooming products. Uh, me and Tim use Manscaped all the time, and two out of two ladies surveyed like that. That's why Manscaped has redesigned the electric trimmer. Their lawnmower 2.0 has proprietary skin-safe technology, that so this trimmer won't nick or snag your nuts. And don't use the same trimmer you use on your face as on your balls. That's just dirty. Manscaped also has the crop preserver, an anti-chafing ball deodorant, and moisturizer. You already put deodorant in your armpits. Why not? The deodorant on the smelliest part of your body. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code games at manscaped.com. Start the new year off right and the right way with the best tools for the job. Your balls will thank you. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code games at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping. Manscaped.com. Use the code games. Our next sponsor, well, it's the LCS. New year, new you, right? Well, it's also a time of change for the LCS, North America's official League of Legends professional league. The 2020 season kicks off Saturday, January 25th at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern on watch.lolesports.com. And there's never been a better time to become an LCS fan. You may be wondering, if I've never watched, will I have any idea what's going on? Don't worry, LCS hosts and casters will make sure you can follow all the action. This will be an exciting start as the latest game update, Rise of the Elements, introduces permanent map and buff changes for the players to deal with. Plus, there's truly a team for anyone to root for. Maybe you want to see a classic like TSM rise again, join Team Liquid to see if they can secure yet another championship title, or lean into your darkest desires with one of the newest teams, Evil Geniuses. So, are you ready for some league? Good, because there's more, even more this season to enjoy with Monday Night League joining the schedule. Catch the game Sunday at 2 p.m. Pacific. Sunday, Saturdays at 2 p.m. Pacific. Let's try it all again. Catch the game Saturday at 2 p.m. Pacific, Sundays at noon Pacific, and Monday Night League at 5.30 Pacific on watch.lol.com. LOL, of course, esports.com, Twitch or YouTube. That's watch.lolesports.com, twitch.tv slash LCS, or youtube.com slash lol esports for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday night league action. Thanks, LCS. And finally, it's Raid. Introducing Raid Shadow Legends. Raid is a mobile game, or mobile RPG done right. Not every RPG game must be cartoony and cutesy. Enough with candy rainbows, uh, unicorns, and bright colors. Get real, raw, dark, d- epic, and awesome. Uh, Raid Shadow Legends will take you to the dark world of fantasy and realism. And now, you can play Raid on both mobile and your desktop. The game is cross-device, so you can play with the same user and switch between devices whenever you want to, however you want it. Raid has all the features you'd expect from a brand new RPG title, like <coughs> like an amazing storyline, awesome 3D graphics, giant boss fights, PvP battles, and hundreds of champions to collect and customize. But you'll never expect this level of performance out of a mobile game. And in Raid, you have the ability to personally customize and choose the artifacts and design a unique mastery build for each one of them. And the best part is it's free to play. The invitation to download more than fif- has been accepted by more than 15 million players worldwide. And the best part is it's free to play. So go click the link in the description box and start playing. Clicking on this will not just, in- you won't you just enjoy one of the best mobile games of the moment, but you'll also be supporting this podcast. So what are you waiting for? Download Raid via the link patreon.me slash kind of funny games raid which you will also find below in the description and get a special package with 100,000 silver two clan boss keys 10 mystery shards and the amazing champion adjudicator this package will only be available for the next 30 days kevin coelho you have the floor from one gary Wood's question of which next gen console you're most interested in 100 sony huh uh, sony Oh, Sony, okay. Five? Yeah. That was, you want the PS5? Okay. Go yeah, back wide. Even though, show, even though show Series gear. X will be more powerful? Uh, I mean, I don't I don't really care. I'm, I'm, I, the only reason I use the Xbox right now is for the 
the Blu-ray. So why? So why okay. are you more excited for the less powerful console? Uh, well, it, it's not. I'm I'm more excited for the new PlayStation console. You know what I mean? Yeah, but like, what? But what? But why? I, because it's, that's that's my primary console. I'm excited for the. You already the, use the PlayStation Four all the time, so yeah. you're excited for PlayStation Five. I, but I'm excited for the like their their what do they call the the games that come out just for them? Exclusives. Exclusives, right? But there's but there's barely any of those left. Yeah, on either platform. I don't think that's, no, I don't think that's that's you're, true. No, you're wrong on both accounts. Yeah. Both of them now have a stable of first parties. Yeah, but they're very small and, you know, ultimately I a, mean, but a, like a tiny, the, tiny what, fraction of the, of the game base, sure. which uh, almost everything's multi-platform these sure, days. That's the game, true. The, the games that yeah, we mostly yeah. care about. But yeah. the like ones Cyberpunk, that aren't... All this shit's going to be multi-platform. Yeah. But, like, the ones that aren't are usually what on would, Sony and they're really good. What would you say are the top three most compelling... Um, Platform exclusives on each platform. Top I mean, three. What, I mean, for PlayStation, it's going to be whatever Naughty Dog's doing. Number one, all the way, right? Then okay. probably now Sony Santa Monica. So Last them. of Us 2, right? Yeah. Last oh, of I'm us. sorry. I thought you wanted, like, thinking next gen. Yeah, Last of Us Part 2 uh, from Naughty Dog. Then you'd, what, probably say, depending on who you talk to, I'm going to go Sony Santa Monica, God of War 2. Then I'm probably going to say Insomniac Games, Spider-Man Spider -Man, 2. Right? Yeah. yeah. I think right below that, depending on how it all plays out, but Sucker Punch with Ghost of Tsushima. I'm talking from a very specific Greg level, right? So you can't exile the people who are excited for uh, Polyphony Digital does, and a new Gran Turismo. Does Sony own Naughty Dog? Yeah. Okay. Um, and then on the Xbox side? Xbox side, I think... Gears of War? Right now, Halo, Halo. Halo. Sure, 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 sure. I'm more excited for the stuff we don't know about. Xbox okay. has done such a great job of assembling all these different first parties, right? right? But, but, of, but, but currently of what we know, you'd say Halo... Halo Infinite, sure, yeah, I want to see Gears of War... Yeah, and what, I'm going, no, 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 like, like I mean... It's hard to give a shit. Yeah, well, it's more like, what is the coalition working on, right? Like, they've... Really yeah, well, nobody... I mean, that's the whole point. Is like, I, I'm excited for that... Uh, uh, reveal event where they are like hey here's what we're doing here's here's what the studios are here's a taste of it i think even getting i'm surprised we saw something from uh ninja theory so quickly right with another senua and how great that looks that's when it gets exciting of like oh man like you're telling me there's 14 right other xbox things because 15 total like <laughs> that are out there making amazing things like that and all sorts of stuff like i i i get burned all the time right gary where we lead up to an E3 or whatever, and I'm like, here's what I would do, and here's what I'm hoping for, and yada, yada, yada. As somebody who is so lapsed on Halo, and just whatever, it was never really my jam. I've played a bunch of them. They all run together. I don't care. You're playing them soon, right? Too. Well, we're about to do my... We're about to do, yeah, as one of the shows for yeah. uh, Kind of Funny Games, youtube.com slash Kind of Funny Games, and streaming uh, next week, I think we start my first ever complete pay playthrough of Halo 1. I digress. Halo Infinite has me... Very much like I hope I hope they come out and show this, and I feel the same way I felt about God of War, which is a series I didn't care about either. Where I was like, I, I finished that, and I was like, oh man, I want to play that right now. What do you know about Halo Infinite at this point? I mean, you, what there was that weird trailer. I mean, you, around. is it is it going to be like the Destiny Anthem model? Are they going to take Halo down that road? Do you think? I don't know. A road that no. we know is so at this point so fraught with peril. No, I, I don't think. No, I'm not going to do that. No. no, I mean your best. I think it's going to be a. Halo. It's gonna be a Halo a game, up but Halo. it's gonna be like a, a return to form for what Halo is. Right. Like I think that. I think you'll have a cool multiplayer mode. I, I hope Tim always jokes around hopes for a battle royale. Like right. that they put that in there as a mode. I think that'd be cool. Right. Yeah. Uh, however, this all plays into our questions, believe it or not. You wrote into patreon.com slash kind of funny games, just like Michael Knight did. Uh Microsoft stated that all games released on the Xbox Series X for the first one or two years after the release would be playable on Xbox One. Do you think this will hurt their console sales of the Series X during this time? I've been an Xbox owner for 13 years, but bought a PS4 last November. I will most likely be buying the PS5 at launch and wait until Series X games stop being available on Xbox One before even thinking about buying a Series X. Thanks for making my two-hour commute something I look forward to. Do you, think, he's not, do you think that's his real name, Michael Knight? I hope so. It's a good name. Knight Rider, so, you know they, they call him the Knight Rider. Yeah, you know um, that wasn't even, you know, Mike. That wasn't even his real name. David that, Hasselhoff was his real name. Well, that was, yes, very good. In, Got him. <laughs> in the story, though, uh, that was the name that he was given when they reinvented him. You know, because he went to work for the Knight Foundation, mm. and so they called him Michael Knight. But that wasn't his actual real name. I didn't know that. No, now you know. Now I know. Uh, that was do just you, his cover name. Do you think the fact that you'll be able to play? The new Xbox Series X games on Xbox One for a while be a pain. It's a it's a good question. I feel like this this decision this is a big strategic decision that has been made by Phil Spencer and the super super muckety mucks at Xbox, all of whom are you know far smarter than me. And this is a this this is a thing that would be way above my pay grade. But to comment on it, I'm I'm guessing that maybe it's a smart idea to keep both of the consoles relevant. Yeah. Um, 
you know, I can I can understand that people like Michael here might decide that they're going to wait until they feel like you know the games are only you know, he doesn't need as long as the games are available on Xbox One, he doesn't need an X. Yeah, yeah. I would I'll still get and I think there'll, there'll be people like that, but there will people there will be people that want a Series X because you know they're going to want they're going to want to play the best version of the game. And that's the thing is ding ding ding. That's the answer. I think when I understand your argument, Michael, but I think you're framing it in the way we think about console generations and have our entire video game life. Whereas I think PlayStation 4 Pro and Xbox uh, X were the first time of let's try to make the phone model. You know what I mean? Let's make a, a, a better system that can run games better. Sure, you can still play them over there, but wouldn't you want this? Right. And when they announced that, I remember being in such a, what a dumb decision. Why would I do that? Why would anyone, Bob, and what happened? Everybody ran out and bought those things. And they continue to buy them. And when my, my PS4 started making the slightest noise, I was like, time to get a pro. Bought a pro. You know, I got a 4K I, I, TV. I, you need it. I feel like it's a smart move. And, and the people that run the Xbox division or have run it in the past don't have the best reputation for making smart decisions. They've made some colossally stupid ones over the huh. years. But that's not this team. That's not that's this team. That's not this team. That's right. Um, but I feel, I feel like this could be a smart move. I think it is. I think I think on the one hand, if you have an Xbox One and you feel like you didn't get the money out, in, the money out that you put into it, here's you're not getting left behind. I think that hopefully gets you in the ecosystem and you start playing stuff and you realize, oh man, I would like to see this in whatever blazing 8K, right. whatever the hell it is, right. and get the new thing. I think it works because uh, when you talk about consoles launching, right? Like PlayStation didn't sell 106 million units in its first year. That's li- life to date so far, right? Like it's the hardcore disposable income. I need the fastest, yeah. coolest machine, yeah. right? Like yeah. were, people like us are going to buy both these systems regardless, right? We just want to have them. We want so, it. I mean, it's covered. the same as with the One and the X right now. Some people yep. are happy with the One. Some people want the X because the games are noticeably better yeah. on the X. Noticeably better. Yeah. And I think um, you're going to continue to see that. Is there, we don't know much about the 5 yet, but the PlayStation 5 is not going to do this, right? Would be your guess. They're not, PlayStation 5 games won't be, you won't be able to play them on the 4. Like, no. They'll just be only for the PS5. No, I don't. That's not going to be the case. Right. I think that that is a... Uh, a bullish move by Xbox in this thing of them taking it really to the next level of this is like a phone model now, right? Of like how iPhones are between generations. And eventually there's a cutoff, but like, right. no, you're still here. And I, think X, and I think PlayStation as just throwing around their dominance this generation is very much like, no, we don't need to worry about that. Like, we don't care. And we're backwards compatible, so we're encouraging you to buy this, right? Like, you buy a PlayStation 5, you keep your PS4 library. Who cares? Come get the nice bell whistle. Right. You know, do the next step of it. Gary? It's time to squat up. This is where one of you writes in to patreon.com slash kindoffunnygames. Give me your name, username, platform of choice, and why you need help in a video game. I read it here. The best friends come and find you, and everybody plays games together. Today, Marcus Hutchins needs help in Killer Queen Black. Uh, his switch code is 432810789311, or you can get him on Discord. Marcus, hashtag 4807. Marcus writes, Killer Queen Black is so much fun. They haven't added the black team yet, but I'd love to have a squad to run with or at least team up in pairs. I play a few nights a week and on weekends. If you add me on Switch, we can see when one of us is online, or you can add me in KQB by searching Marcus. There's only five Marcuses, but... Uh, Oh, in Killer Queen Black, that wasn't his Discord. I'm an idiot. Hope to play with you soon. Marcus, hashtag 4807. I don't even know what Killer, Cl- <gasps> Killer Queen Black is. Should I know? Oh, you definitely should know Killer Queen Black, dude. It's this awesome multiplayer game. It was in the arcades, and now they brought it to Switch, and they brought it to PC, and it's coming to Xbox. It isn't already on Xbox. Kind of funny.com slash you're wrong. Are they bringing... No, it's not on Xbox yet. Anyways, though, it's this... Crazy arcade game where one person's the queen, the rest of the worker bees. You have a team of that, and you try to. There's m- multiple ways to win, including riding this giant snail across the screen. It's All great. right, oh, it's definitely you've got good. my you've got my attention, Gary. It's time to find out what we messed up. Remember, we asked people watching live on twitch.tv slash kind of funny games to go to kind of funny.com slash you're wrong and tell us what we screw up as we screw it up. Uh, Mr. Mitch George wrote in and said, "Kevin is wrong. There are literally dozens of us that like MC Fixer." No. No? Okay. No, no, no. He always talks shit in the chat. No, no, no. No way I'm working him on the next one. Gotcha. Uh, Zabe Kill says, Gary's shirt is Jose Morijo. Cons- Jose Mourinho. Sorry. Just considered one of the greatest football managers of all time. Correct. And currently the manager of my uh, beloved Tottenham Hotspur football club. Uh, what? No way. I, I, mm, there's what? corroborating info here. Apparently my wife wrote into uh, You're Wrong and say, our PC spe- specs are Intel Core... 
TM i7-6700 oh. CPU I said, that's a decent, what's the GPU? That's 3.40 gigahertz. That's what we need to know. 3408 megahertz. That's a that's a decent CPU. What's the GPU? I, she didn't put that in there. Oh, Jen, that, but that's that's what you need Jen, to know. Jen, if you want to call us and read Gary the GPU, you can. She she was she apparently also sub for 6 months in a row. Thank you, Jen, for spending our money on kind of playing. Isn't there something she can run to like just tell us? Wasn't well, yeah, there is, saying? but like that's even harder. Are we having a fun show with the, the weird facts we have, Kev? You know? I mean, you just threw out numbers that nobody even listened to. Oh, I know. No, and that's the thing is all these Gary PC, all these numbers. PC snobs are like, oh no, oh yeah, yeah, that makes sense to me. That makes sense to you. Gary, what, you know what the fuck did. you're what saying? He said a core. He said a core i7 6700s. That's what I have in my uh, mm. in my la in my uh, recent uh, the, the the oldest PC that I had that I don't use anymore, but I was using up until recently when I bought the new one. Yeah. Currently, I have a, a core in, in my current build, a core uh, i9 9900K. Uh, with a uh, GeForce uh, NVIDIA GeForce uh, uh, Titan RTX uh, uh, GPU and 16 megabytes of uh, Corsair RAM. Uh, what else do you want to know? 16, sorry, 16 gigabytes. There you go. <laughs> there you go. There 16 you go. gigabytes yeah. of uh, Corsair RAM. What's, what, uh, what's the... You want you want to know the fucking the motherboard, the cool yeah. the cooling system? What, what, what all you really know, all you really need to know about a PC to know how it performs is CPU, GPU, and uh, RAM. But yeah, your, your your GPU will be the will will be the compelling factor in in running VR. Well, the CPU is important as well. Basically, you, you need both. But an i7, i7 6700K will do it. Zabe Kill confirms my suspicion, that, I, and I'm correct, that Killer Queen Black is on Switch, Steam, and Discord. Other platforms are planned after. Uh, well, okay. After launch is what it says. I don't, what are you Discord? launching? Yeah, remember, they sold games for a while. Huh. They got out of that business when they are like, oh, this is tanking our business. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's Kind of Funny Games Daily. Tomorrow it'll be me and Blessing. Friday it'll be Blessing and Tim. Remember, if you want to be part of the shows or just tell us we're doing a good job, head to patreon.com slash kindoffunnygames. Toss us a few bucks. Get the shows early. Get them. Or not this one because it's live. Uh, get the shows uh, ad-free, though. Get them with the exclusive post show we're about to do. That's right. More Gary Witter on Patreon.com. Yeah, let's, right so I now. won't be here next week, but let's figure out this Xbox show. I'll come in and do an Xbox show. All right, don't, don't you get ahead just, of yourself. I just, a, I just need a co-host. Don't get ahead of yourself. I need God, someone gonna, I, you're going to hold an American Idol competition, aren't you? Snow Mike Mike. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, until next time, it's been our pleasure to serve you.